The University Grants Commission of India UGC India is a statutory body set up by the Indian Union government in accordance to the UGC Act 1956 under Ministry of Human Resource Development and is charged with coordination, determination and maintenance of standards of higher education. It provides recognition to universities in India and disbursements of funds to such recognized universities and colleges. Its headquarters is in New Delhi, and has six regional centers in Pune, Bhopal, Kolkata, Hyderabad, Guwahati, and Bangalore. UGC is modelled after University Grants Committee of UK, which was an advisory committee of the British government and advised on the distribution of grant funding amongst the British universities. The committee was in existence from 1919 until 1989. History The UGC was first formed in 1945 to oversee the work of the three central universities of Aligarh, Benares and Delhi. Its responsibility was extended in 1947 to cover all Indian universities. In August 1949 a recommendation was made to reconstitute the UGC along similar lines to the University Grants Committee of the United Kingdom. This recommendation was made by the University Education Commission of 1948-1949 which was set up under the chairmanship of S. Radhakrishnan, "...to report on Indian university education and suggest improvements and extensions." In 1952 the government decided that all grants to universities and higher learning institutions should be handled by the UGC. Subsequently, an inauguration was held on 28 December 1953 by Maulana Abul Kalam Azad, the Minister of Education, Natural Resources and Scientific Research. In November 1956 the UGC became a statutory body upon the passing of the "'University Grants Commission Act, 1956' By the Indian Parliament, in 1994 and 1995 the UGC decentralised its operations by setting up six regional centres at Pune, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Bhopal, Guwahati and Bangalore. The head office of the UGC is located at Bahadur Shah Zafar Marg in New Delhi, with two additional bureaus operating from 35, Feroz Shah Road and the south campus of University of Delhi as well. In December 2015 the Indian government set a national institutional of ranking framework under UGC which will rank all educational institutes by April 2016, in December 2017 DP. Singh, former Director of National Assessment and Accreditation Council NAAC, was appointed chairman for a period of five years, replacing UGC member Virinder Singh Chauhan, who officiated the position since the retirement of Ved Prakash in April 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Professional councils UGC, along with CSIR currently conducts NET for appointments of teachers in colleges and universities. It has made NET qualification mandatory for teaching at graduation level and at post-graduation level since July 2009. However, those with PhD are given 5% relaxation. Accreditation for higher learning over universities under the aegis of University Grants Commission is overseen by following 15 autonomous statutory institutions. All India Council for Technical Education AICTE Distance Education Council DEC Indian Council of Agricultural Research ICAR Bar Council of India BCI Board of Theological Education of the Senate of Sri Rampur College BTESSC National Council for Teacher Education NCTE Rehabilitation Council of India RCI Medical Council of India MCI Pharmacy Council of India PCI Indian Nursing Council Inc Dental Council of India DCI Central Council of Homeopathy CCH Central Council of Indian Medicine CCIM National Council for Rural Institutes NCRI State Councils of Higher Education SCHE Council of Architecture Veterinary Council of India VCI 
Topic future In 2009, the Union Minister of Human Resource Development, Kapil Sibyl made known the Government of India's plans to consider the closing down of the UGC and the related body All India Council for Technical Education AICTE, in favour of a higher regulatory body with more sweeping powers. This goal, proposed by the Higher Education and Research -E and -R Bill, 2011, intends to replace the UGC with a National Commission for Higher Education and Research -E for determination, coordination, maintenance and continued enhancement of standards of higher education and research. The bill proposes absorbing the UGC and other academic agencies into this new organization. Those agencies involved in medicine and law would be exempt from this merger to set minimum standards for medical and legal education leading to professional practice. The bill has received opposition from the local governments of the Indian states of Bihar, Kerala, Punjab, Tamil Nadu and West Bengal, but has received general support on the 27th of June 2018. The Ministry of Human Resource Development announced its plans to repeal the UGC Act 1956. A bill is expected to be introduced in the 2018 monsoon session of the Parliament, which if passed will lead to the dissolution of the UGC. The bill also stipulates formation of a new body, the Higher Education Commission of India HECI. <laughs> 